Okay, so today we'll be starting with average, and I think you have had a lesson on averages uh, in your science class. Another name for average is mean, M-E-A-N. Okay, so how do we get an aver the average of a group of numbers or data? Okay, so basically average is the sum of all the data that you receive divided by the total number of information. So for example, you have this uh, numbers here you have 10, 20, 50, and 40, and you want to get the average, um, w uh, the average of these numbers. Okay, so the average is basically the sum of all the numbers. So this is why we have 10 plus 20 plus 50 plus 40, and you divide that by the total number of information. So you have in this case you have four numbers. Okay, so you add that, and you have uh, 120 divided by four. And so that's 30. So basically this means that with all the four numbers that you have in here, when you add them all and you divide them by four, the average is 30. Okay, so average is actually re really easy in your workbook and uh, extra practice and I think your test book as well. You will get a lot of uh, exercises into how to get the average of... Um, I'd like uh, to work on now is to find um, the missing number with a given average. So this is an example in here I have prepared. Say for example you have these numbers 25, 20, 35 and a num another number that you do not know. But you're given an average of 30. So basically this th what this thing is saying is that we have four numbers the three numbers we know, we don't know the fourth one, but we know that the average of the four numbers is equal to 30. Okay, so the first step that we'd like to do here is multiply your average, the given average, the, do the total number of uh, total number of information or data that is in your list. So in this case, you have the three given ones and the one missing, so you have four. And so you multiply the average by the total number of um, data, and so that would be 120. Okay. Second step is you add all the first three numbers. In this case, you have three numbers that are given, so you add them all up. So 25 plus 20 plus 35 is 80. Okay. So that's the first second step. The third step is subtracting the product on the first step by the sum in the second step. Okay? Right? And so you have 40 as an answer. So that means your fourth number is 40. And let's check if that's actually correct. Okay, so this is the checking part. If you add all the four numbers now, you're 25, you're 20, you're 35, and you're 40, the sum is 120. If you get the average of that, so that's 120 divided by 4, you've got 30, okay? So therefore, your 40 is correct. Another one. Alright, so you have here, you have four numbers given, and you have the fifth one that is missing, but you know that the average of these five numbers should be 20. Alright, so the first step is multiplying the average by the total number of data, and so you have 20 times 5. Why is it 5 this time? Because you already have 4 given, and you have a missing one, so you have 5. Alright, so that would be 100. Second step is adding all the given data, so you have um, 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 35, you add up them all up, that's 85. Okay, the third step into finding the third or the last missing number is just to subtract the first step minus the second step. Okay, and so therefore your last number is 15. Okay, so um, let's check if 15 is actually correct. So you, let's add all the numbers now 10 plus 20 plus 20 plus 35 plus 15. That will equal add up to 100. Okay, and if you divide this one by 5, because there are 5 numbers, then your average is 20. And so that corrects the, I mean, that checks the average of this. Let's try this for a problem. Bob's grade in science is 95%, math 92%, history um, 85%. What grade does he need for English? so that he could get an average of 90 degree, 90%, okay? 
So let's list all our information. So in his the first three grades that he have uh, that he had is um are ninety five, ninety two, and eighty five. And he, we don't know what is uh, his English grade, so that's the missing number. But we know that the average that he wants is 90. So what grade must he get for English to get that average? Okay, so first step, we, we multiply the average by the total number of grades, in this case 4. And so that is equal to 360. Alright, second step, add up the three grades. Okay, 95 plus 92 plus 85, that is equal to 272. Third step, this is the last step. Well, actually, not really last step if you want to check your work. Okay, next, uh, third step is subtract the first step minus the second step. Okay, and so your answer in eight is 88. So therefore, he needs to get a grade of at least 88, or exactly 88, actually, to get an average of 90. If he wants to get an average of 90, more than 90, then he should get more than 88. Okay, let's check. So 95 plus 92 plus 85 plus 88 is equal to 360. If we get the average of that, that is 90. And so that's the average that was given. Okay, so I'd like you to uh, study a little bit of this and work on your uh, assignments.